Welcome back to EA Sports, continuing coverage of the postseason. I'm James Sabalski. Game three is set to go down. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. Every game critical in the postseason. This one, no different, and we are underway. I saved it. Icing the call, big face off looming. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Boston's got the puck here in the open ice. And he slides it quickly to Carlo. With possession along the wall. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Directed over to Lekanen. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Colorado's got it along the wall. He grabs the puck here at the point. Slides it diagonally to Pasternak. He got all of that hit on the play. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Kiki's got it in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Pasternak. And now it's grabbed by Cousins. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. The Bruins take it from the side. Scooped up along the wall by White. And he stops that kid in there. Wow. Pasternak's dangerous when he shoots pucks that are flat and settled on the ice. His snipe zone ability is that accuracy from having full control of the puck. Rontanen's got an accurate shot if he can shoot the puck when it's settled on the ice. His snipe zone ability lets him pick his spots. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas and try and get a little too cute, and that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. Pokes it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. And look at this. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here. Here's another shot. He scores! Nate the Great, Nathan McKinnon scores! I just love the way he's dangling in tight spaces here, James. He knows how to create space for himself and just enough to get to the goaltender and finish it off. The game's opening goal and not a moment too soon. 
soon for them. No, and they get that goal, and you know, if they can get another one back to back here, they'll really set their team on fire and have their opponent on their heels. Puck scooped up by Rantanen. The Bruins gain control of the puck. That's just a great heads up read at center ice. Colorado has been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Well, you can't do that, or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one goal lead. And now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. Holmquist won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Puck grabbed by Coonan. Gaining momentum up along the side. On the attack along the boards. Denies it in front. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. The Bruins gain the zone. Feeds it over on the rush. And that's a great hits up play by McCarr. Gets it out of his own end. From the left side, takes it at center. Sends the pass down low. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Dubé. And that carries off a stick. Turn that one aside. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Johnson's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Avs win the defensive zone faceoff. Passes it to Johnson. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. The Bruins looking against the half wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Ready to take the draw here on this power play. And they win the face off and set up to go on the attack. Blocked in traffic. Great defensive effort with the stick. Boston's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Rantanen's almost back on the ice. And they clear that puck. Grabbed in the open ice by Zaka. What a steal in his own end. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Picked up along the boards by Lindholm. The Avs gain control of the puck against the wall. And it's a quick pass to Lekanen. Gets the puck over to Gerard. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Bruins are fortunate that this game is close, James. I mean, they've had way too many turnovers and terrible blue line decisions. They need to shore that up if they want to get back in this game. Right on the doorstep. Tries to feed it over to McCarr. McKinnon's been feeling it, James. He got the go-ahead goal, and now the puck's on his stick. Here's a short pass to McCarr. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Lots of time left in this period. Colorado's up one zip. Sackers won it in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Pasternak. Nice zone entry from the middle. The Avs have it from the corner. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Slides it over with pace to Pasternak. The Bruins take it along the wall. Sends it down low. Taken by Dubé. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Moves it quickly over to Makar. Pushes it across to Nichuskin. Puck picked up by Lekanen. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Sweeman! A 
officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The Avs win that offensive zone faceoff. And there's a great save by Swimming. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. And that's poked away by Carlo. And now it's grabbed by Quinn. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Slides the puck across to Winberg. Taken by Fabry. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. The Bruins win the draw. Gets it over to Chatfield. Branton is picking up steam. And he loses control here. There he is from the slot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. From the place 99 made famous. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Oh, and they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Colton's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Boston's won the draw in the neutral zone. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Keeps in front. He scores! The key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to and the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. Sackhouse ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Quick feed to Kuna. Fires it on net. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Taken along the wall by McAvoy. Chance in front. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. has won the draw and they're on the attack. Quick pass to McKinnon. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Fabry's penalty is almost expired. That's probably not what they were planning on the power play. They serve up a shorthanded goal with the special teams unit, but now both teams back to even strength. And that's a tough one for the power play team here, James, giving up a shorty on that one. What matters now is what you do next. Reset, refocus, and attempt to get back in this one. Puck scooped up by Fabry. Moves it to Saka. Here he is, takes the shot. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Fabry stick handling in his own zone. Works it across to Chatfield. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Moves it in front. A blast with the stop. Landeskog's back in the lineup after nursing his injury, and sometimes it can be frustrating and you can feel a little slow to start, but he creates some offense right off the hop. Just gets enough to keep it out. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. A tough situation when you got one of your best key players who scored a shorty early in the game taking one. You have to find someone else to kill it now. They win the draw and go on the attack. Three penalties in one period. You gotta stay disciplined, and what it does is it disrupts the flow of your bench. Only your key players are getting out of there. Penalty killing units set to earn their keep tonight as they'll try to kill off a five on three man advantage. An opportunity here to right the wrong on that demoralizing 
Shorty earlier. They're on the power play. The coach is telling them, listen, you got to stick to the system. You have the man advantage. Lindholm's known for turning the tables with his yoink zone ability. He's so good at takeaways and stripping the opposition of the puck, guys. And that's how he can spark things for his squad. Hammers it on net. Here's a short pass to Leiker. A power play goal puts them in front. Well, and this was a huge opportunity that they took advantage of, James. They were virgins on the puck, but they also showed poise and patience. That's a hard shot. The goaltender looks like he's just getting to position. Gets a piece of it, but it still goes in. Taking a one-goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after more. Boston's won the draw. The Bruins have it now. Puck sent over to Haig. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Kubelik. The Bruins carry it along the wall. The Avs take possession in the defensive end. Puck grab by Lekanen. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Haig. Boston's got it in their own zone. Passes it over to Kubelik. Shot! Scores! And we are tied, courtesy of that short-handed tally. Well, this is a critical moment in the game. The PK unit goes out there, and they just don't want to build a further deficit. They're waiting to get back to even strength to strike. And instead, they do it while they're shorthanded, James. What a swing of momentum. McKinnon's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Zaka's won the draw at center. Lindholm's got the puck in his own zone. Slides it up ahead for the right wing. Centering feed! Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Quick shot! Oh, that slick stuff by Sweden! And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Kubelik's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Winberg's won a big draw in their own end. Pass across to Lindholm. And now he passes up to Hunt. The Avs man advantage comes to an end and not the result they were looking for, giving up a shorty. Sometimes when you're on a power play, you can get caught cheating. I think you have a lot more time than you do, and it winds up in the back of their net. That's a tough one. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that's off a stick. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. And a solid stop on the play there. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Here's a shot. Makes the save. Tosses it to Lekanen. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Swayman. Boston's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Carlo. Takes the feed. And nearing the final minute of the second. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Forces the turnover. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Winberg's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Well, there's the horn, and that means two periods down. And there's still a critical third to play. Looking forward to this one. Third period action is coming up. Here we go. Period number three is underway. Still looking for who that hero will be. Takes the puck at the point. Puts it on there. Off the floor. I think that caught the inside of the post. Colorado's working hard to stay positive here. James, another one off the post. It could be in the lead. And it scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one. And that one is in his favor. Getting position 
taking a one goal lead. Oh, the ante isn't enough, hasn't it? Because they know that the game is almost over, James. But guess what? When you look at the clock, there's still some time. And whenever there's time, your opponent can creep back in. So it's about being conservative in some areas and being aggressive in others. Here he is, twists him on net. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Saka's got it into offensive territory. Quick pass to Pasternak. The Avs move it ahead. Moves it to Rantanen. And that's broken up. Sends it over to Pasternak. Here's a short pass to Tube. Puck picked up by Pasternak. And that pass is redirected. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a body and a ride. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Takes the feed. Lindholm's taking it from his own end. Along the half wall with the puck. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Lekkonen's moving it ahead. Moves it quickly over to Colton. Boston's got possession of the puck. Pass to Fabry. Over the line they come. Picked up along the wall by Fabry. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Fires it on net. Right on the doorstep. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Drives it to the crease. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back to that goal. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and you know that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. The Avs win the faceoff. Slides the puck ahead to Kunin. Moves it around along the half wall. Scores! That's three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and he needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beat the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Avs continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. And now it's grabbed by Carlo. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. The Avs don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Colton's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they put it off the glass and out. Now the short-handed unit, they find a way to get to this puck first, James. And the tough part there is you've got to get it on your stick and off your stick mm. quick, because you know the power play unit is going to be coming. This is done perfectly. Colton side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Avs win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that's stopped by Sweden. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Both will set the faceoff dot ready to win this draw the man advantage. jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. And that's knocked away by Dubé. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. The Avs are in the home stretch of this one here in the third period and lead by a wide margin. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Gains the zone on the left wing. it over to Colton. Gets the puck in deep. Boston's got the puck. Quick feed to Boquist. Moves it on over to Tube. Sends it in front. And it caroms off a twig in front of the net. Here's a 
a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. Johnson's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Colorado's won the face-off at center. Dumps it into the O-zone. Colorado's penalty killing unit delivers in a big way. Both sides back to even strength. PK is a skill set, James. You have to have the ability to read and anticipate, and they did an effective job, and they got some huge opportunities. Scooped up along the wall by Fabry. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Colorado's got it behind the net. Gaining momentum along the wing. Knocked off the puck. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. Now a quick pass to Colton. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Sensational stop by Sweden. Fabry's got it behind his own net. Gains the zone along the right wall. Centering in front. And that's intercepted. Colorado's looking to break out. Makes a move in front. And that all the out of the play. Wow! That's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. And there's the whistle. They brought a penalty with this relentless pressure. Well, the success earlier on the power play, that would like to set up the overload again. No question about it if they win the faceoff, James. It's all about puck movement along the wall, down low. You know that you're moving it. You're all on one side of the ice. But the key is that you got to open up the lane quickly be able to move the puck to attack. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Kiki's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. McKinnon's won the faceoff. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to McKinnon. Fires it! Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Uses the force on that hit. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. McKinnon's looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. Shot. Oh, that has some heat on it. He makes the save. Who had the edge in Carlin Baines' mind? She's standing by with the answer. Rontanen's impressed me with his play in this matchup, guys. He was able to get in on the scoring, and even though both players we've highlighted have points, I've liked his game a little bit more. Makar swooping in on the attack. Solid check to slow him down. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Aggressive play with the poke check, and it pays off. Grabbed along the board by Nachuskin. Big time stop there. Oh, and he makes another save. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the inside of the frame. The Avs are leading in this one, and another one could never hurt, but it's a tough game here. It's tough to put it by the tender. He seems to be in good position because the puck keeps getting run off the post. The Bruins get a hold of the puck off the draw. 
Boston's got the puck in the corner. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. It is all over. Well, they're not out of the woods just yet here, Sheriff, but a win tonight puts them back into the series with it now being 2-1. Well, it's going to give them some confidence as well. Listen, we've got a two-game deficit, and you find a way to claw your way back in. It's going to give their team, their dressing room, a lot of confidence. You're only trailing by one now. If you can win the next game, the series is tied. And here they come back out to salute the fans. Well, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all the way around. Ain't no party like a victory party. A fun night of playoff hockey. And these playoffs, well, they have been intense. And they have been electrifying so far. We will see you at the next broadcast. For Cheryl, I'm James. Good night.